so all that guys we have already seen what we are going to make in this video so make sure you watch this video till end and also like and subscribe my channel so now without any further delay let's get start the tutorial so for making this uh, scene i'm using the blender latest version blender 4.2 you can also download and use it because there are lots of bug fixes they have did already so first of all we will just go to the here and here i will just go to my vfx section and here i'm just going to add the motion tracking section so first of all we need a video i have already put the link in the description of that video which we are going to use in this video so i will just open the video first of all yes so this is the video we are going to use it yeah something like that so first of all i will just go to my render properties and here i will just change my color management section to axc to standard so we will get a original and a real color from the footage after that what we have to do basically we need to do some settings which is required to doing tracking in blender first of all we need a set scene frame and what is that exactly basically right now on my screen you can see here we have uh, the detailing of the video how much the expert ratio and what the color exactly and also the frame rate basically or by default you can see we have a 250 uh, frame rate set in a blender but if i will just set the scene as a frames set scene as a frames so it will automatically change the frame rate exactly same the video and then we'll also do the prefetch and what is the, the prefetch basically it is like Uh, calculating the cache and storing into our time file and when we will um, try to play our video so it will play very smoothly without getting any jerk so make sure you also do the prefetch as well after doing all those both things you need to just scroll it down and here we need to do one more thing also we need to just change the motion model location to affine and apart from that you can just click the detect feature and when you just click the detect feature you will get one dialog box here what you need to do basically you have to just decrease the threshold and when you decrease the threshold you will see that uh, tracking point will be increased frequently here you can see okay so it depends up to you how much tracking point you need basically so right now i need uh, 0.1 is look nice to me because these tracking point is look nice to me and apart from that we don't need to do anything we have to just hit the track uh, markers just click it and it will just track something like that all right now here you can see we have a uh, these kind of tracking here now again i'm just going to click the detect features and again i'll just to the backward to forward something like that and again we'll get some tracker points again i will just go to in between something like that again i'll just to detect feature and again i'll just to backward to forward something like that and again i'm just going to start from the 130 frames detect feature and forward to backward something like that all right so apart from that you don't need to do anything you have to just press the alt t so hide all those red dots basically and one more thing i just want to tell you guys you we have to remove all those like uh, extra poppy uh, markers and what we can say lines basically because these are distracting to our what we can say uh, tracking basically and also what you can do basically you can do I go to the solver section and you can just do clean up like do clean track and increase the you can increase the tracking frames something like that and you can delete manually as well like something like that so now here you can see we have a good uh, tracking and we have a good uh, lines in uh, here also so now everything is look good to go for me now what i will do basically hit the solve camera motion so before hitting the solve camera motion we need to just click the focal length and after that we have to just click the solve camera motion and it will take little bit time according to your footages but if you are getting like a higher number of solve error so that's mean you need to like delete some markers and also clean up some marker basically and filter some uh, tracks if you getting these kind of like 0.72 and like 0.01 so that's mean your tracking is good like less number is good and higher number is bad for the tracking basically okay if you want to clean also more tracking so you can just do it but right now i think everything is look good to go for me and we have a good tracker here which is look nice to me by the way okay so now everything is good to go now what i will do basically i will just uh, select three marker and i'll just go to the set setup tracking scene something like that and set as a ground as well pointers like floor is yeah now floor is good okay everything is looking nice to me now we can just go to our layout section and here we go yes now everything is looking nice to me by the way now what i will do i will just scale my floor 
something like that okay and uh, we can also delete this floor basically and we can just add another one something like that and we can just rotate it something like that yeah everything is good to go okay and i will just go to edit mode of this plane i'm just gonna scale it and keep it here same i will do here basically something like that and g and y basically we have to we have to like move this here to here and this one also here to here now everything is look good to go for me and we can like move according to our requirement as well yes everything is looking nice to me now okay now i will just switch into my rendering mode but before switching my rendering mode i will just go to my ev cycle and i will just do gpu and i'll just switch into my rendering mode so everything looks something like that so first of all i'll delete this light and i'll just add one sdri into our scene so i'm just gonna add the sdri i will just use this sdri everything is look good and then i will just go to my render properties and just to fill transparent and now yes everything looking good then i'll just go to my camera i will go to my camera settings go to my background image and increase the opacity as well okay then i'll just select this object and i'll just go to my object data property i will just go to my visibility section and here i'll just use this shadow catcher as well now i will just delete this cube as well and i'll just add one toy here i'm using the blender kit for it so which okay so i'll just use this toy and i'm just gonna scale this something like that and rotate it something like that as well and we can just move it g y here to here g x here to here yes yeah we can just move it a little bit further okay now here you can see when i'm just moving my camera so this toy is also moving very nicely now see how cool it is looking by the way so everything is looking good to go we can just uh, move this toy a little bit further yeah all right guys apart from that now here you can see is like now everything is look good to go now we will just do rendering so for doing the rendering what i will do basically first of all i'll just set my uh, sample to the 152 and i'll just set my render file format as a png and i'll just uh, render as a frame by frame basically okay as a png and i'll just uh, set my render folder where i wanted to save it okay then i'll just do render and render animation all right guys so that's how you can just do the tracking using the blender that's very easy and cool trick so i thought i should share with you guys and i'm just gonna do one render so i can show you how it's looking by the way yes so here you can see this is the final output is look like and this is looking awesome by the way so we have to do one more thing here basically right now we can see there is no shadow is happening so for that what we have to do basically we have to just just we have to do one more thing we have to just select this one and move it little bit down now here you can see we have a good shadow here as well and now everything looks nice now we can do the render because we have add this plane here that's why that that is covering the whole uh, what we can say that is covering the whole scene now here you can see light is perfectly uh, adding and now shadow is also looking nice so that's how you can basically use the camera tracking using the blender so thanks for watching the video guys if you learned something from this video please hit the like button and the share button subscribe my channel also so bye bye take care and stay home guys and love you all